So let's just talk about some of the things. So you, when you're running your own business, you've got a million and one hats to wear. You, you sort of yeah. alluded to that in the very beginning. And there's e- it's very easy to get sucked into the things that take up your time, but add, don't add any, um, any yeah. income to your business, okay? So yeah. what what are you doing to generate new business? And what did you do to generate new business? Because I speak to a lot of financial planners and a lot of them can dawdle, they can waste a lot of time, they can procrastinate on social media. But what's your advice about getting business on the board I um yeah well this this is kind of um pre pre pandemic but um you've got to just get out there and um put your uh, put your face about really and um you know meet and greet people uh, I, you know, when when we started I I did you know I I spent I got up early went to business breakfasts you know um chatted i chatted to a lot of people about what we were doing and people were quite interested in it you know we said we're, we're starting up our own business you know it's going to specialize in um, ethical and environmental investment we've come from this background da, 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 and people actually wanted to, to support you so i think you've got to you've got to have a bit of a, a story and then be prepared to to, to, to go out there and, and and tell it and people actually are are quite supportive of uh, new enterprises you know you'd, you'd, you'd be surprised so um, I, 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 and some of it just happens by um, by pure chance. I, I can remember going to um, someone, uh, someone's leaving do, um, who worked at a, a law firm, and I got chatting to to people there. One of them happened to be a finance director of a, of a firm of accountants, and um, you know, I went out for a coffee with him a couple of times, and all of a sudden, he was becoming a client. He was passing clients to us. So it was just things like that, you know, just kind of happen if you're prepared to to put the effort in i, I you, you can't you know so there's another cliche but you can't just sit at your desk expecting it to, to turn up because it's, it's it's not going to happen um now i you know you, it, it's it, i guess it's a double-edged sword but you've got social media you know you can get your your your, your presence and face out on on online which is um you know it's a big it's a big opportunity but obviously there's a lot of people trying to do that as well so I don't think I don't think there's any substitute for just going out and meeting people and talking to them about what you're what you're doing and, and building a relationship with them that way. And I think you need to focus on, you know, a handful of people who you think might might give you a lead in somewhere or provide you with, you know, referrals. I think that's that that would be a word of word of advice. Yeah. Yeah. It's all very well having, you know, big ideas about, you know, creating some massive, you know, online presence but the reality of that is it's, it's extremely difficult i think so i think yeah, you can go down you can go down a bit of a black hole when it comes yeah, to social media trial, i think you can and you can spend a lot of money doing it as well you can um, you can and it yeah it's really is um sort of um hit and miss so you know i think in this especially with um you know our profession people still buy people yeah. uh, ultimately that's that's what happens if people trust you and like you like talking to you like spending time with you you know the chances are they'll they'll do business with you 